everybody, it's Kay with Curiously Kay, and we're here today to do an unboxing. We received our snack crate. Yeah, this is this is how I got it in the mail. So I'm just being completely honest with you guys. That's what I got. Um, there is a place to do a survey, so I'm going to definitely tell them about that. I get to play with a knife today. I don't know whose bright idea that was. <laughs> okay. My cameraman did not open our box. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. I mean, yeah, the box is like mainly open, but you know, not where I needed it to be. Look, I really shouldn't be allowed to play with knives. <laughs> there, there's a lever. There's a lever. Okay, <laughs> the knife has been taken away from me, probably for my own safety. So, this, as usual, they sent, they sent me a car, and I, ugh. okay, I know that you guys can't see this, but there's some powdery substance, like crummy powder on this but um here's the thing that says that you know i should put it in the refrigerator for three to four hours um we didn't put it in the refrigerator it's been sitting in my house all day so room temperature and these snacks are from mexico uh, and they day. even sealed it with a sticker So, if I open it up, the first thing that I have here, I, okay, I took Spanish, but I don't remember any of it. So, as usual, something smells spicy. Oh, yeah, and my can did not make it. Okay, guys, this is so far not going so well, okay? This is the first thing that we have. And I'm not seeing it on the list. Oh, haha, <laughs> skip the page. Parparindo, made from the pulp of the tamarind fruit. Oh, and it's flavored with sugar, salt, and chili peppers, making it simultaneously tart, sweet, salty, and spicy. I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. Can I not try? Huh? Can I not try? No. No, you don't get to... My cameraman is trying to um, flake out on me. Very, okay, very sticky, very tacky. It is, I'm, I'm afraid of this. I'm just pinching off a little. Okay. Oh! Okay, it wasn't bad at first, but I definitely got some spice afterwards. It tastes to me like sex on the beach, but with spice. Oh, Lord. Do you need your, uh, that, do you need yeah. your American drink? Yes, I need my American drink. Apparently, we are not going to be trying our... We'll get to that in a minute, but we're apparently not trying cherry coke. Okay. Okay. So they also have this in watermelon. Oh, I can smell the spices from here. Uh, what did we try? Uh, mango. That one was mango. So the mango tastes. To me, like sex on the beach. 
Um, I couldn't tell you what this one is. I, I have no clue. And I, I can't. Oh, this one's extra hot. No, thank you. Give it your other kid. Okay. Yeah, they, they sent me lots of those, thanks, because, I, no, I don't know. We're going to have to dare someone. Um, the big kid. Where's, where's your phone? Okay, like, there's spiciness all through here. Where's your phone? Let me see your phone. We're going to pause for just a minute because I'm going to take a picture so that I can include it when I send them my review for this box because I'm just going to show you. I'm gonna take this out, which was on top. But can you see that it's like melted and crushed and this is just not acceptable. Okay, so I'm back after that brief pause. This is completely unacceptable to me. I do pay for these boxes. These are not given to me. I pay for them and I review them myself. So next we're gonna see it. Like, seriously, this is horrible. Um, and not, I don't think that was still. No, because that is what, this is what is crushed all over my box. So this wasn't even sealed. So we will not be trying these. But they smell very spicy. Next we have, guys, this is bad. Next we have these little cookie things that I don't see on my list either. Camelitas, they're cinnamon cookies. I like cinnamon, I like cookies. Oh, it's because they're in a different package on here. Okay, so. Remind me of um, like an iced animal cookie, but without icing on it. I don't mind them. They don't. I can definitely taste the cinnamon. I taste spell when you first seen it. But that's probably just because they were also probably open. I I don't think that they were open, but they are. They do almost have a stillness to them. Okay. Then we have these lollipops that also have chili and stuff. And there's stuff melted all over them. Um, yes, this is... Winkles Rianos and well these may be edible like this is just really bad and I hate to say that um I feel like the first this is the the second one that we've received and I feel like the first one was just fine it was I'm very afraid. Do you want to go first? <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen uh, that. I'm, I'm this awake. is just... I'm awake now. I just took a sniff of it. And that's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, um... 
Can, can I have some of your Coke? <laughs> no. <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> Here, let me. Ugh. I'm gonna be sick. Okay. Not good. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no. Bad. Bad idea. I can definitely taste the pineapple. Oh, don't. No. Uh, no. But I'm... what is with all the. Ole. <sighs> yeah, ole. <laughs> like everything is spicy. Okay, moving forward. Oh Lord, more Coke. Gotta love it. Okay, moving forward. I'm not trying those suckers because those have peppers too. Oh look, watermelon, and it's got more pepper on it. Guys, I can't, I can't do this. Okay. Oh, you cook is just important. This is. Mazepan, probably the worst, well, the worst, oh my gosh, <laughs> most well-known Mexican candy. Mm. It's a disc full of sweetened ground peanuts. Let's, it has chocolate, that's got to be promising. Chocolate and, and this. Too. Like my hopes and dreams for this box are crushed. Really? Like it didn't even send the mailbox. I like got there as soon as the woman drove up. Yeah, I I don't know where the. I'm afraid to take a big bite. Okay. Yes, we can do this, except for. That it's crumbling all over me. It's my bad, man. That's good. I like that. That's not bad. I do like that. It's like... I've tasted it before. Okay. We cannot try this because it's squished and opened. But it would have been strawberry and vanilla. It says it's a candy is a frosting packet. But like I said, we won't be trying that one because it is open. open. This one is strawberry and hazelnut and also open. Um, this one is hazelnut and vanilla and also open. I just, I can't give this box a good review at all this time around. This is absolutely horrible. Um, okay, this is in its package. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, I... I'm guessing that this is the, oh, Oblias. it is, again, one of those things that is not, if, if it's, it's not packaged the way it looks on the sheet, but it says that it. Dolce and Leche between, and that's not what this is. Okay, we're going to try it, but. That's not bad. It's crumbling everywhere. It tastes a lot like the peanut thing. And then, Gala Rose. 
Yeah, but it's not listed on. It's called the De La Rose. Okay, it's called the De La Rose. I even took Spanish. Oh, yeah. Guys, <laughs> like, here's the can. And I, I know that you can't see, and I can't. No, no, you can see perfectly. Well, not you guys have a crappy. It's busted. It is busted completely open. There is obviously nothing in it. Um, so I'm going to assume that it has leaked all over. Uh, so that leaves us with this. Uh, da, 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 da. Helen Halo Rico. I don't know. Um, might as well just leave here. We'll let the goo. It's goo. <laughs> it's goo, guys. Like everything else in this box, it's goo. Uh, Sweet, salty, and spicy. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> Try some goo. When they say it's goo, like it is seriously, can, can you guys see that? It's, it's goo. This actually isn't that bad. It tastes kind of like a fruit roll-up, like a melted fruit roll-up mm -hmm. with a little bit of spice. This is not nearly as spicy as the anything else other stuff. We have peanuts that are also smashed to bits. Okay. Guys, I am seriously confused. This says Japanese style peanuts. I. Mexico? Mexico? Japanese peanuts. What? Okay. Ole. My fingers are sticky. My. <laughs> Um, Tom's probably burn at this point on the spice. With you, I like the one thing that's not open, and I can't open it. Okay, so Japanese style peanuts from Mexico. That is just so weird. Completely weird. They are. It's like an old food again. Hold on. Here, take this. I'm going to see if I can bite into this and see if there's something different about. So I guess they have. Like a candy coating on the outside of them. I like them. But I'm still really confused as to why I got Japanese style peanuts in a Mexican box. That's really weird. And the last thing in this box is Gancito, I guess. And I will tell you that I am a little disappointed in this simply because if I'm not mistaken, this is something that we can get here like at our local grocery store in the Mexican food section. But I haven't tried it. So, I'm not going to be too disappointed. 
Um, okay, maybe I will be. So they come in this package. And then they are all squished up in this package. I, I mean, seriously? They're like a complete and total mess. Should we even try this? No. Not in my room. Maybe in the bathroom. But, well, they're, no. no, they're still melted, and the filling inside them is all squished out. I just don't think that these can recover. So, I have to say that I give this box a big thumbs down, and not necessarily... Three, four things within. Well, not necessarily just because I didn't like the stuff in the box, because I understand it's from a different country. And that's why we're getting them. That's why we're trying them. But to have things that, number one, I feel like everything was pretty much spicy. And then most of the stuff I couldn't even try because it was ruined during shipping. So, I don't know. I'm going to contact the company. I will let you guys know once I contact the company what their response is. Um, I just want to give a real honest review, and that's exactly what this is. This is just real and honest. Completely not acceptable. We'll see how the company's um, customer service goes, um, what they're willing to do to, to make it up. I don't know if they'll send a new box or what have you, but we'll see how their customer service is, and depending on that, we'll depending on what will depend on whether or not we continue these boxes. So... Do me a favor and smash that like button. Join us for our next unboxing and we'll see you next time.